Today I'm going to be testing a bunch of K-Beauty products, which I'm very, very excited about because I've not really delved that much into K-Beauty before. A few things here and there over the years, but not this many. So I'm going to be trying all of these and I'm very excited about it. I've seen some really cool K-Beauty products online on TikTok and on YouTube and a couple of these have gone viral online so I'm very excited to test those. Today's video is sponsored by Olive Young which is the website where all of these lovely K-Beauty products have come from. They sell so many different K-Beauty brands and products on their website. I have seen other influencers talking about them. I've seen the Welsh twins talk about Olive Young. I've seen people doing Olive Young hauls on TikTok. So it's really cool to work with them and all of the products that I use today will be linked down below. Yes, they do ship to the UK. If you spend over £60 you can get free UK shipping and it says it takes between seven seven and 10 days, but they do also ship to the US, they ship to Australia, they ship to other countries, they have more information about that on their website. And they are doing a huge sale in June between the 1st and the 7th of June, that is KST time, because obviously Korea have got a different time zone. They are doing their June Big Bang sale where they're gonna have up to 77% off the products on their website. So it's not just like, a, oh, here's 5%, here's 10%, 77%. And as well as that, they're also gonna have loads of deals and free gifts, things like sheet masks, other small items, and it's all to celebrate their fourth anniversary of Olive Young Global. So if you are looking for a good time to either try K-Beauty stuff or stock up on some of your favorites, then now is a pretty good time to do it. I'll leave a link down below. By the way, all of the makeup selections are actually waterproof. So you can bet that I will be spraying my face with water. Oh, it's so cold. So the first product that I have is by Round Lab. It is the Birch Juice Sun Stick and it's an SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. So with this and the foundation, I'm actually gonna apply it to half my face first so we can see the difference. And it's just a very lightweight, clear sun stick. I don't even know if you can see that. It literally has no scent at all, so I'm just gonna go in and start applying this on my skin. And you just twist it up like, ooh, why is that so satisfying? You can literally just sort of paint it onto your face. So you can like really get up around your eyes. And it's pretty much undetectable. Like it doesn't even look like I'm putting anything on my skin, but I can feel it on my skin. It's very, very lightweight feeling, but I can see that it has these sort of little, almost like water droplet type things in it. It's supposed to have a sort of cooling and soothing effect, which I can definitely feel. Like as soon as it touches your skin, it almost is like there's some hydrating ingredients that are inside it that sort of come to the surface. I've heard really, really good things about Korean SPFs. I'm not too sure why, but their formulas just seem to be really nice. And it's supposed to sort of double up as a moisturizer and an SPF. Feels very hydrating. It's a little bit sort of slippery. Feels great. I have my trusty spray bottle. I'm just gonna spray some of this. Can you see how this hand, which I just sprayed and didn't have the sun stick, this one is just wet. Whereas on this one, the water is all sort of balled up on the surface. That's great if you're gonna be sweating or doing any activities involving water. The next product I have is a cushion foundation. This is by the brand Giverny and it's the Milchak Cushion Cover Foundation. It's got SPF 40 and I've got the shade at 23 NW. This is what the packaging looks like and it did also as well come with a little refill in here. It does have a little sponge in there and I have actually tested this before this video just cause I wanted to see what it was like. So you literally just take the little puff, press it onto there, and then just tap it onto your face. And you will see that this has got incredible coverage. Like, look at that. It says in the product description that it stays on for up to 72 hours without clumping. And it has a vegan formula. It's very, very lightweight, which as you can see, like I only dipped in once and that has done the whole half of my face. When I first put this on my skin and I was trying some of these bits out, I was actually blown away at not only the coverage, but also how much a little bit of this goes a long way. Look at the difference. It gives really good coverage, but it feels so lightweight. It feels like I've just got a moisturizer on my skin. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a heavy, thick foundation. And it's just so smooth looking. So this is the side without. And this is the side with. And this is also supposed to be waterproof, so um, shall we? I'm actually gonna put on this headband to try and protect my hair a little bit. Let's put some on my lips as well. Making it rain. Okay, I think that's enough. Oh my gosh, it's going in my eye. Hopefully you can see, it's sort of like the water almost goes into little droplets instead of just covering your whole skin. I'm guessing because the foundation has some kind of ingredient in it or like oil ingredient that sort of repels the water. I mean, obviously I've not finished my makeup yet and I've not set anything and I will do a full face waterproof test at the end, but I just wanted to give that a try. Let me just fan my face dry. 
I mean, it doesn't really look any different to before I sprayed it with water. On the other side of my face to apply my foundation, I'm using one of the makeup spatulas, which these makeup spatulas went viral on TikTok. This one is by the brand Picasso. Oh, it also comes with two sponges in it. I didn't even notice that. They are so squishy. Okay, so bear with me. I've never used one of these for my foundation application before, but I've seen a lot of other people do it. It's made of stainless steel, so it's supposed to be easy to clean and hygienic and stuff, but you take this little tool and sort of swipe the foundation in a really thin layer onto your skin. Let's see if I can pick some of this up on the spatula. I have some foundation here. So I have some on the spatula. Oh. The idea is it's supposed to give a really thin layer and look almost skin-like. Maybe I took too much foundation. It is definitely putting on a really thin thin layer. Not quite sure I've got my technique down. <laughs> and then I guess you take one of the sponges to sort of tap it all in. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. <laughs> How do you get the nose? I think I'll just use the sponge. And then on my forehead as well. I don't think my technique is perfected yet. It is a bit fiddly, but it definitely is giving a much thinner layer of foundation. It has, given a, it has given a nice finish. It definitely looks more natural than this side. I mean, if I'm gonna be real, this is obviously easier to apply the product with, but the spatula definitely works. I'm just gonna go add some bronzer blush brows, then I will be right back. So for my eyes, I've got multiple shades of the Bibia, I think is how you pronounce it, or BBIA. I have been corrected that this is pronounced Bia. Auto gel eyeliners. They are a waterproof gel liner. You can use them in your waterline or you can use them on your eyelids. I think I will do both. I'm gonna take the shade Linen Beige. This is what the packaging looks like and they twist up like this. So I'm putting a linen beige in my waterline. It's just a very, very pale pink. I'm gonna use the shade Mellow Brown, which looks like this. This one has got a tiny bit of sparkle in it, and I'm gonna just draw this on the outer corners of my eye. It has a little sharpener on the end as well. And then I'm just smudging that out to create a sort of smoky eyeshadow effect. These are really affordable as well. I think they were like $9 full price, and they're very blendable as well, so beginner friendly. So just taking some on my lower lash line. For liquid liner, I've got these two from Cosnori and they're the super proof fitting brush eyeliners. I've got one in brown and one in black. And again, these are also really affordable. They've got a super fine tip brush point, which is my favorite kind of eyeliner applicator. So you can obviously do a thicker line or you can do a really, really thin line. Apparently the end of the brush is 0.1 millimeters. So you can get really detailed little designs with it. Hopefully that don't look like that. I think I'm gonna go for brown. Right, liner is done. That was not the uh, easiest design that I could have chosen, but but as you can see, you can get thin lines, thicker lines, whatever you want with this really. It's also waterproof. Then for my mascara, I've got this one, which is by Peri Pera. Peri Pera. It's me jumping in again. This one is pronounced Peri Pera. It's their long curve curling ink all black mascara which says it provides super curling and clean lengthening for each and every lash i did already test this out you actually get two in this box this is what the packaging looks like and this is the packaging of the mascara it has a very skinny little wand that has a slight curve which is really good for getting to the base of your lashes and really like gripping onto them which is great it's also a waterproof one it's supposed to last for 24 hours not that i've tested it for 24 hours because i generally tend to take my makeup off before i go to bed but it's very long lasting and because it's waterproof it really keeps the curl of your lashes it does a really good job actually at coating every single lash let's get the lower lashes as well these are my lashes up close for my lips, I have got these lip stains, which are the Water Floating Plur Tints from a brand called Too Cool For School. A water floating tint that makes your lips moist and glossy with a clear, watery shine. Do I go for a bright shade? Because they have a more neutral one, which is called Drizzle. This one is called Plop, which is like a hot pink. Okay, this one is called Tearful. I think I'm gonna go for this one just because it looks extra juicy and I've seen a lot of gorgeous tints in this sort of color. Really cute packaging as well. Oh my god. It smells like pink grapefruit. Hmm? Oh my god, that smell is just divine. What is actually making me thirsty? And that colour. I mean, it's not something I'd go for every day, but for the summer, that is gorgeous. So when you first put on, it's very shiny. And then let's see what happens if I... Ooh, ooh! Okay, wait, it stays that shiny. For some reason, I thought that it wouldn't. But no, it stays shiny. But then if I just get off the shininess on the back of my hand, it then just stains your lips 
and doesn't come off. You see? It just leaves the stain behind, but I really like the glossiness, so I'm gonna put a bit more on. I will show you the other colors on my arm, and we will go test it under the tap. Okay, so these are the three shades of the lip tint. I'm just gonna do a second coat on all of them just to build up the tint. Because these ones are more of a stain, they have a brighter color when you first put them on, but then the kind of top color that you put on then fades slightly and it leaves behind this stain on your lips. So I don't know how well it will stain my arm, but I guess we'll see. And then this is the color that I think I'm gonna go for on my lips. Okay, so as you can see, all of the kind of bright color comes off, but it does stain. So this is what actually kind of like sinks into your lips. The actual top color obviously washed away. So this is when they're dry, as you can see, it like leaves that stain behind on your skin. But on your lips, it seems to soak in a lot more because it was definitely a lot more vibrant on my lips. I feel like it's not the best representation on my arm, but I just did a second layer. And it definitely did stain better. Obviously, it's quite a subtle stain. I feel like it's sunk into my lips a lot more. Finally, for my makeup, because I am also going to test a makeup remover, I've got the BioHeal BOH Panthenol Seeker Barrier Cream Mist. Another correction, this is pronounced BioHeal Bowl. This can be used over the top of your makeup, or it can be used under your makeup, or it can be used just as like a general skincare product. This cream mist enriched with centella and panthenol provides intense and long-lasting hydration and strengthens skin's moisture barrier. The super fun Fine mist delivers an even and natural looking glow instantly. So this is what it looks like. You give it a shake and oh my God, you guys, I love a fine mister. And this might be the finest mist I've ever tried in my life. Like you can barely even see it because it's so fine. But oh my God, this product is beautiful. It feels so soothing. I actually used it the other day when I took off my makeup, but you can use it if you want to give more of a glow and some hydration on top of your makeup as well it is just such a beautiful product it doesn't sting it doesn't burn if you have dry skin you will probably love this can you see how it's just given a really nice glow to my skin and that is the makeup tested the question is is this all gonna stay waterproof when i spray myself in the face i guess we're about to find out okay so this is the makeup before i spray my face with water before wetting my face. I mean, at this point, maybe I should have just got a shower cap, but let's just get my hair out of the way. I'm putting a towel in my lap. Let's spray myself in the face. Oh, it's so cold. Mm. Oh, it's dripping down my face. Oh no, it's going in my eye, it's going in my eye. Oh, how am I looking? Well, definitely very wet. Oh, oh my God, look. I mean, like I've got to say for the mascara, my lashes are dripping wet, nothing's coming off, which is great. The eyeliner, like you can literally do this and it's not coming off. <laughs> Just rubbing my skin. Okay, actually maybe don't rub your skin because where I've rubbed it, a little bit of coverage has come off from this cheek here. But I'm guessing if you got your face wet, you're not gonna intentionally try and rub your foundation off. So this is my towel. I'm just gonna gently dab my face. I think we're pretty good with that one. And then this is my face afterwards. The eyes still look pretty much exactly the same. I'm very frustrated at myself that I tried to rub this patch here where I had like a bit of a breakout. So moral of the story is do not rub your skin. But I mean on the side that I didn't rub my skin, it's definitely stayed on. Like, can you tell that I just sprayed myself with water? For the most part, probably not. Like, it's looking pretty good. The glossiness of the lip did come off, but obviously the stain is still there. There we go. Definitely had it very well, just don't go rubbing your face. I mean, it looks a little bit less glowy now, but actually, wait, let me see if this can... There we go, that's a bit better. Actually, I don't know why I'm topping up the lipstick because I'm about to just take this all off. With this mist as well, it also says it won't clump or make your makeup flaky even when sprayed on top so it can be used as a fixer. So like I just did there, you can use it to sort of revive your makeup if it's looking a bit dry or you can just use it as skincare without any makeup on at all. I bloody love it. Then finally, I know that I did just put all this makeup on but we're gonna take it off now using the Manio Pure Cleansing Oil. And again, this one came with a free gift. It comes with the full size bottle and then it also comes with these two little travel sizes. This cleanser was actually ranked number one. It says on the front number one and the olive young awards in 2022 and 2021 this is the big bottle it does have a pump which is really handy and then yeah it also comes with this teeny tiny little baby one and another slightly bigger baby one which are both little travel sizes which will be perfect for when i go away it's like a little family so i'm literally just taking a couple pumps of this in my hand just rubbing my hands together and then i'm literally just gonna 
rub this all over my face. And as you can see, it just kind of melts the makeup down. Just really massaging that around my nose and my eyes. So obviously if you're by the sink, you just wanna run some water and rinse your face. I'm gonna use my trusty spray bottle again just to sort of emulsify this. Is that the right word? And then it turns into this milky kind of consistency. And then I'm just taking a cotton pad. I'm just gonna wipe that away. Oh, I opened the wrong eye. So as you can see, it's broken down all of that waterproof makeup. And I will be taking those little minis on holiday because they're so handy. And then if you want to, you can go back in and do a double cleanse. And I'm back to my former self. I'm actually just gonna finish with a bit of the Panthenol Seeker Barrier Mist just to add some extra moisture and just to soothe my skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. Don't forget if you wanna check out the June Big Bang sale, it's happening between the 1st and the 7th. I will leave more information about that below as well as all of the products that I used. I will link them down below as well. Thank you to Olive Young for sponsoring this video. It's definitely been a fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it too. If there are any other K-beauty products that you want me to test, let me know. Cause I feel like I've just scratched the surface here and I hope you guys are doing good and I will see you in my next video. Bye.